Alright, my name is Heidi and welcome back to the Goodwill bin. We are looking for things to flip today. I've got a squishmallow and a nice wall hanging. Um, here is some Robert Woods artwork, prints, and uh, I looked up comps on these and some of his pieces actually do go for decent money. However, these were not as popular, so I did not pick them up. Um, actually, what I'm really looking for right now are books. It's kind of a lot of not-so-fun stuff. don't even know who this guy is, what show that guy is from, but... not leave him. I should use Google Lens more. Uh, this is an Infamil backpack. Um, it, it was a pretty clean bag. I was considering it, but looking up comps, brand new sold $4.99, $12. So I left that behind. Looks like it was a good cold storage bag though. No photos, we're gonna pass on that. This was a puzzle. It's really sad to see all the puzzles that end up here and then like pieces just spill out everywhere. These are Reef sandals. Uh, they Reef is a good brand of sandal, but uh, those were a little bit too worn. For my liking anyway. Next we finally find some books here. This is the Encyclopedia of Window Treatments. It did kind of look like a cool little informative book. Um, I'm not into interior decorating or anything like that and I did look up comps on these and they weren't great, so I left them behind. Windows are a very um, interesting subject. At my last job, I was able to learn a significant amount of information on how windows work. Um, stencil decor book. Uh, this is pretty vintage. I should have looked up comps on that, but, but I didn't. And there's everyone's favorite elf. There's a Jessica Simpson booty. Looked pretty clean on the outside. The sole was a little worn. Oh, look at those kitties. This was kind of a pretty bag, but Dana Bachman, it, there was like rust splatters all over the front of it. Um, no brand name bag. It felt like a nice bag. It was probably like a Target or Walmart bag. This, the Sesame Street book, this was super clean for the age of the book. There was like no handwriting or anything in it. I, I can't remember if I bought that or not. Um, some worn out moccasins. Kitchen timer. This particular bin, a teacher must have donated a bunch of books. Um, I did look up comps on all of these books. Some of them weren't too bad. 
but I would have had to have cleaned the name off the front of these. Um, this bag has seen better days. Go ahead and skip. My grandma was super into dolls. I did find this nice pint jug. That would have been cool uh, for like a, a terrarium if it were white glass instead of brown glass. Pop-up books, guys, actually can be quite valuable. Not all of them, but some of them. The Three Billy Goat Gruffs. That was one of my favorite stories growing up as a kid. I don't think, I, I think I checked comps on that and it wasn't worth very much. So I left it behind, the three Billy Goat Book book. Um, also, recipe books can sometimes be good too, but the weight of the recipe books can kind of hold you down. Scholastic books, old scholastic books can also be sometimes worth picking up. Again, another really clean kids book. A lot of times when you are looking at kids books, uh, they're just full of writing and, you know, that can be expected, but. Uh, after looking up comps on that book, I put it back to also crafting books. Crafting books can be quite valuable. Um, and when I say valuable, you know, you could get 15 to 20 dollars sometimes out of a crafting book. The house that Jill built. That one was in rough shape. These were kind of cool, but in my opinion, they were probably just new, newly made, but made to look old. Sometimes when I film, I don't always... Oh, there's a Lightning McQueen. I love the die-cast cars, just to check out to see what they are. It doesn't mean that I always pick up the die-cast, but sometimes I do. A Brothers Grimm, any of the old fairy tale books, typically because they've been made in mass, aren't really worth looking into, but... You, you never know, so if, if I, sh I should actually check more things out than what I do, but I have no idea what this is, but it did look of good quality. There's some Hello Kitty. Is that a coloring book that maybe I missed? Everyone loves Hello Kitty. Every time I see a little Hello Kitty toy, I try to pick it up. Some more 
books. Uh, these are um, board books. A lot of times your board books uh, have gone through some, some heavy damage, especially if it's something good. Whole series of ornaments there, little ornaments. I thought that book was funny, uh, The Poultry Geis. <laughs> I'd never seen that. It had also gone through some, some serious wear. Curious George takes a job. I did look up comps on this one, I believe, because it was in really good shape for a Curious George. I'm not sure if they still make those. Sometimes you'll see one of those like older scholastic books or books that read, or I should say were featured on uh, the PBS TV show, The Reading Rainbow. And sometimes those books will also be kind of valuable. There's a Liz Claiborne purse. It had also seen some better days. Here is that specific teacher again. Her books were really clean except for the covers. I don't know. I, I don't know if I could get that off with like acetate or something. Sometimes hairspray takes off ink. And then I also heard I'm not really sure. If you know what takes marker off of the off of book covers, let me know. It would be very helpful. I'm not sure what that was. A lot of times if they aren't clean inside, or relatively clean inside, I just toss them aside. Some CDs. The concrete. Three doors down. The bad thing about some of these like older, like popular bands is the CD is just super scratched. I have no idea what this is and I don't know why I spent so much time looking at it, but I think because it was kind of a nice wooden piece, even though it was busted. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.